Dr. Hoffman, if you were on an elevator and a member of the public came up to you and asked, so what did you do to win that Nobel Prize in chemistry? What would you tell them? Well, I did some theory together with an experimentalist or having importance for experiment. But what we came up with was a way to tell whether some chemical reactions are easy and some are difficult. Now, why should that matter? Well, chemists, like kids playing with Lego blocks, they build complex structures from simple structures, like a castle from a piece of from Lego blocks, and they do it by putting things together. So they do really as simple things as kids playing, except those things are important. So if they want to build a molecule that has many rings in it, they take a piece that has four carbons, they put it together with a piece that has two carbons, and whoops, they go together to give six. And that goes easily, actually, in a chemical laboratory. But then they try to do something with two and two, or four and four, to give a four-membered ring or an eight-membered ring from two four-pieces, and it just doesn't go. So we figured out, using methods of quantum mechanics, of physics, why that is so. It has something to do with the electrons in the molecules and how they move around. And we made some predictions of some things that should go, should not go. It just made the life of chemists much easier. That's fascinating. Thank you for telling us that. And one last question. Are you still working in this field or are you doing something new and exciting? I'm doing new things. Um, that was a long time ago, but they're all related. I'm still interested in shapes of molecules and why they react. Even at this conference here, I was talking about how, how certain molecules react in certain ways. I'm interested in their colors. Uh, I'm retired seven years, but I'm still in love with the molecules. And I just look forward to opening the next issue of a chemical journal, except now, instead of a physical copy, what I do is I look on the web, of course, but it's, it's the same feeling. And I love seeing the next molecule, even if I haven't predicted it. It's lots of fun to see it. Thank you so much, Professor Hoffman.